Have you ever wondered why a spinning top doesn't just fall over? It's a question that may seem simple, but the answer lies in the complex and fascinating world of physics. Picture a ballet dancer executing a flawless pirouette, or consider the ceaseless orbit of our planet around the sun. What do these seemingly disparate phenomena have in common? They're all examples of angular momentum in action. Angular momentum, a concept that might sound intimidating, is actually a fundamental principle that governs a multitude of everyday occurrences around us. It's the invisible force that keeps the spinning top upright, the dancer in motion, and the Earth on its orbital path. But what exactly is this invisible force? How does it work and why does it matter? These are the questions that pique our curiosity and drive us to delve deeper into the captivating world of physics. Today we unravel the mystery behind these spinning objects and their unfaltering stability. To understand the law of conservation of angular momentum, we first need to define what angular momentum is. Imagine you're spinning a basketball on your finger. The ball keeps spinning, right? In physics, this spin is referred to as angular momentum. It's the rotational equivalent of linear momentum, which you might recognize as mass times velocity. But instead of a straight path, we're dealing with circular motion. Now, to compute angular momentum, we use a formula. L equals I times omega, where L is our angular momentum. But what about I and omega? Let's break it down. I stands for the moment of inertia. This is essentially the measure of an object's resistance to changes in its rotation. Picture yourself trying to spin a bicycle wheel. It's relatively easy, right? Now imagine trying to spin a car tire. You'll find it's much harder. That's because the car tire has a greater moment of inertia than the bicycle wheel. Now on to omega. Omega represents angular velocity. It's how fast an object is spinning. If you've ever watched a figure skater spin, you'll notice they can control their speed. When they pull their arms in, they spin faster. When they extend their arms out, they slow down. This change in speed is their angular velocity. So in our formula L equals Y times omega, we're multiplying the moment of inertia, I, by the angular velocity, omega, to find the angular momentum, L. This gives us a measure of the quantity of rotation an object has. In simpler terms, angular momentum is the oomph behind the spin. It's the reason why the basketball keeps spinning on your finger and why the figure skater can spin faster or slower at will. This concept is crucial because it leads us to the law of conservation of angular momentum, which states that the total angular momentum of a system remains constant unless acted on by an external torque. But we'll get into that more in our next segment. Now that we've grasped what angular momentum is, let's dive into its conservation. The law of conservation of angular momentum states that the total angular momentum of a system remains constant unless acted upon by an external torque. Now that's quite a mouthful, isn't it? Let's break it down to make it easier to digest. Think of angular momentum as the spin of an object. The law of conservation simply means that this spin or angular momentum doesn't change unless something external influences it. So imagine a spinning top. As long as nothing interferes with it, it will keep spinning at the same speed, right? Well, not exactly. You see, the speed of rotation isn't only about whether or not there's an external influence. It's also about the distribution of mass. Consider this. If you're spinning in a swivel chair with your arms outstretched and you suddenly pull your arms in, you'll start to spin faster. Why? Because you've changed the distribution of your mass. When you pull your arms in, you're bringing more of your mass closer to the center of rotation. This decreases your moment of inertia, a fancy term for the resistance to changes in rotation. And when the moment of inertia decreases, the speed of rotation increases to keep the angular momentum constant. So even though nothing external acted upon you, your speed of rotation changed. But your angular momentum, that stayed the same. You, spinning in your chair, are a perfect example of the law of conservation of angular momentum. Now let's revisit our spinning top. It starts spinning fast, but over time it slows down and eventually falls over. What changed? Well, gravity, an external force, is acting on it. This creates a torque or twisting force that changes the top speed of rotation. And what about an orbiting planet? The planet keeps circling the sun in a seemingly endless loop. That's the law of conservation of angular momentum at work again. 
The planet's speed and direction may change due to external forces like gravity, but its angular momentum remains constant. And finally, consider a dancer spinning on point. As she pulls her arms in, she spins faster. And when she extends her arms, she slows down. But through all these changes, her angular momentum remains constant. In all these examples, the angular momentum remains conserved. The speed of rotation changes, the moment of inertia changes, but the product of the two, the angular momentum, remains constant. And that's the crux of the law of conservation of angular momentum. So the angular momentum remains conserved, and that's why these objects keep spinning. The law of conservation of angular momentum is not just a theory stuck in textbooks, it finds applications in many fields. Let's begin with a simple example. Consider a figure skater. When she pulls her arms and legs in, she spins faster. This is a direct application of the law of conservation of angular momentum. Her initial angular momentum when her arms are extended is conserved when she pulls them in, causing her to spin faster to compensate. Now, let's move on to something larger, like our weather systems. The swirling of the winds in a hurricane is a direct result of the conservation of angular momentum. As the air moves from high to low pressure, it begins to rotate due to the Earth's rotation. This rotation, or angular momentum, is conserved, causing the wind to swirl in a circular pattern, creating a hurricane. On an even grander scale, the law of conservation of angular momentum plays a key role in the study of black holes. As matter falls into a black hole, it doesn't just drop straight in, it spirals in, much like water going down a drain. That's due to the angular momentum of the matter being conserved as it falls into the black hole, leading to the spiraling motion we see. In the field of engineering, this law is applied in the design of gyroscopes, which maintain their angular momentum and thus their orientation. This is crucial in various technologies, such as stabilizing spacecraft and guiding missiles. The law of conservation of angular momentum is even used in quantum physics. Electrons in atoms, for instance, have quantized angular momentum, which is critical in determining their behavior and, by extension, the properties of all matter. So whether it's a figure skater spinning on ice, a hurricane forming over the ocean, a black hole consuming matter in space, a gyroscope stabilizing a spacecraft, or an electron zipping around an atom, the law of conservation of angular momentum is at play. Isn't it fascinating how a simple law governs so many diverse phenomena? Before we wrap up, it's time for a quick recap. We started our journey by understanding the concept of angular momentum. It's that special kind of momentum which objects acquire when they spin or revolve. Then we delved into the intriguing law of conservation of angular momentum. This law states that the total angular momentum of a closed system remains constant unless acted upon by an external torque. We also explored some fascinating applications of this law in our everyday life and in the grandeur of the cosmos. From spinning tops and ballet dancers to the rotations of planets and galaxies, this invisible force is constantly shaping the world around us. The beauty of physics lies in these fundamental laws that govern the universe, laws like the conservation of angular momentum. So the next time you see something spinning, Remember the law of conservation of angular momentum is at work.